Hello and welcome to episode 10 of the Stellaris. Let's play. Let's learn the game. Op edition. Where we are still very fresh with the game. Doing all kinds of cool things. Expanding the cat empire. Building some catnip defense platforms to defend my primitive race in there in my outpost. And we'll probably try to next uh, collect some... Uh, Crystals uh, for another colony ship, and I would like to colonize a sh planet. Possibly Manakir. Manakidir. To strengthen uh, this area a bit more. Or, uh, I don't know. Well, we'll see. How was the planet in here? It's fairly small. Well, 16 is not actually that small. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. We could get this. Let's see the surface. It's a. Uh, mm, it's a bit of a mess. Might be 16, but it's evading hostile fleet. Oh, hey, what did you find here? Oh, the squid are around, so you just have to flee from there. It's nice that the observation uh, thing is uh, showing there now as well. So you off. Too bad. Wastes uh, quite a lot of time flying around. Well, Research we go. complete. In there. So, military station is ready. Nice. Oh, hey, those are the proximity mines as well. That is freaking cool. And 200 power. So this this should be fairly nice defense here for a while. Which means I'm gonna also add uh, the mining stations here for uh, money. We're pretty low on money or income at the moment, and we could use a bit more. You're still going. You're in FTL. Yeah. Uh, the research was done. So we got the planetary fortification now, and we got the deflector shields. And next we can do solar panel network for money, UV lasers, for uh, even pow more power for laser weapons. Sentinel point defense for the missile defense. Power hub. Energy credits plus 10 percent. That's quite nice. That's also very nice. Uh, let's get some money, money makers, because we are all a bit low on money, and I always have an issue with uh, money in games like this. So we should definitely do that. So that's okay. And uh, I just remember uh, we have the Bistramar here. It's 100% habitable, but can you have over 100% is my question. And let's see. So, well, we have no crystals to make, but we have the Frontier Clinic here, which gives plus 5% habitability. So you would imagine uh, that would be a nice idea. Also, I'm wondering, if my is my own planet only 80% uh, habitable? That is my planet, there. No, it's 100% because it's the uh, main planet. So I don't know, I should I should still try that, I guess. But yeah, let, let's get the colony ship first. Next thing, uh, collect uh, enough for a colony ship. So this should be researching the blown up ships here. Debris analyzed. So that's done. We got mining, drone mining lasers, fusion power, fusion research, and engineering research. And uh, did we research the? It wasn't in Vera. It was in uh, Birzum. Yeah, this one. I send you to research this. So move here. Too bad uh, there's a lot of stuff behind them. I need to make sure we don't lose that stuff. When is that uh, expanded uh, range coming? 20% expanded uh, border range, 13 months. And construction is done. The mining station is here, completed. I want to build another mining station over there, but that costs. Uh, a bit too much at the moment. 
yeah, 67. So we'll have to wait a bit to do that. I think the repairs are also eating a bit of that. Let's see. Send my ships. There's still the alien menace here. I don't know exactly what these are here, but let's go check. Not you. Cancel that. You, you just uh, orbit that for a while. And you guys. Let's go get our ass handed by these guys. So another nuclear missile research, physics and engineering. Done. So was this a survey? No, you can keep surveying that then. Wish I could easier, more easier see which ones I'm Another surveying. Found. Another anomaly. There are signs of activity by an ancient uh, precursor civilization on this asteroid. Go, do. And you are here. Needs higher skill, huh? Where are you? Call point on. Let me see which one is which. This is a. Uh, you are just surveying. Okay. Get you in there. And uh, the level 4. Transfer in there. So we can actually research this site for us here. I didn't think uh, that we might require this. One month to complete. Yes. That's like nothing. Situation log updated. Old God. Approaching the Undaunted. The Alperfun has entered uh, the Fihir system and its crew report that the stellar object, not unlike the shrine in Tan to the Untold, is uh, indeed orbiting the star. Good work. So... The Fihir has uh, that as well. That was my main fleet going there. There's lots of uh, these Leviathans around. You can finally construct the mining station here. Is this a new anomaly? No, this is uh, still the one we are working on. Special project complete. Old God Shrine to the Percipient. Science Officer Vikaltor has reported back with uh, the Yal Six uh, findings at the Percipient's Shrine. They recognized uh, early on that the text in some logographic script is inlaid in the walls, heavily distorted by the layers of translucent uh, lacquer. Initial attempts to at unscrambling the text, uh, relying on the raw processing power of Yakal 6 computers to reconstruct the text from plain images uh, proved uh, fruitless, as it was uh, simply too distorted to place in any known ling lingual family tree. Next, the crew at the Yal Seek attended bombarding the cure with the light of varying wavelengths and intensity, but no beneficial reactions uh, were observed. Vical Thor apparently considered physically separating the lacure from the inlaid text, but realized that the strange cliffs uh, would undoubtedly uh, have been made misshapen uh, to begin with, only to assume their proper shape when viewed uh, correctly through the lens of the lacquer. Science officer Vical Thor was about to call the mission a failure when, sudden, uh, when looking up uh, as they irritably paced along the edges of the circular space, they realized that the discrete lines of cohesive text were momentarily forming before their eyes, melting away only to be replaced by new lines. Not too long after they had the ceiling walls and floor imaged in a spiral pattern, text from other shrines should help us uh, piece it all together. Okay. Well, we're going to be here then. What was in here? In Manahal? Not sure. And there's a hostile fleet here. So these are... Uh, 
small crystalline entities. And there's a bunch of them. And I think these guys are on a collision course. So if I can... I'm gonna try fighting these. If I don't have to fight all of them at the same time, it should be okay. The Wultaum Star Assembly. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient uh, alien civilization on uh, M2, uh, M4 2007-9. They must have been active uh, in this region of space approximately 12 million years ago, judging by the age of the artifacts. From what they have been able to piece together, our scientists have theorized that these aliens, who call themselves the Wultaum Star Assembly, were worm-like annelids, roughly 3 to 4 meters in length, and communicating with each other primarily through vibrations carried along their segmented bodies. Interesting. Situation log updated. So we got precursors, Wultaum. Nice. Hostile fleet engaged. So this guy shot with uh, energy weapons. Planet of the Titans. Haribas 3 is home to titanic life, some of which uh, are so numerous and dangerous that I arrest the planet in hospital for any... For any... For species. For any species I think this should be. Worrying. Oh, we got some... Complete. So boom. It's a uh, survey. Let's go here. So which one was that? Haribas. It's the it's a planet modifier for this planet, I think. Titanic life, society output plus 25%. That is actually quite nice. Toxic kelp, titanic life forms. Well, it's, it's hunting season for the cats. <laughs> cats are known to attack way bigger creatures on themselves. Like crazy bastards they are. Okay, the other uh, crystals are joining in. Situation log updated. I really want to kill those and see what we get. We should be. I don't know. This is probably not good. We'll see. We'll see. We, we are blowing up like flies in the sky. But we are a bit, bit committed on this, I guess. No, I should retreat. Retreat! Retreat! Situation log updated. Well, there is debris in there, but it's not very safe to get. Research complete. And we're done getting the survey data. Allows us to view other empires survey data on planets within their borders. Great. And we got more borders for ourselves. We can got tropical world colonization. Terraforming stations. Oh. And look reveals terraforming gases and uh, liquids. Hmm. I'm gonna get that. Because it gives us a lot of information uh, where there is a... Uh, Important material stuff for us. So you are done with uh, getting into here. So you can research this project next. The construction ship is done. Let's send you guys to Adanis. We need to get more ships right now. When is the... It's still quite many ones. Yeah, I'm gonna just uh, fill in with a couple of Corvettes. At least for now. Construction ship uh, is actually done with everything they can build in there. But we... Is this within my territory now? It is. Did I get their mining stations? Yes, I did. So those who move uh, into my own... 
Nice. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Thanks. I could use those monies and researches. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so I, I got their uh, resources from there. That's uh, really nice. Uh, let's see. There's five crystals in there. Would be really nice. Let's go with those next. You move in there. Go with repair. These guys probably didn't like uh, me pushing into their uh, territory. Gibbs. Border friction 45, yeah. It must be because I, I took the uphang from them. Their uh, military power is superior because they have more ships. They have equivalent, they have more fleet power. Yeah, it's because my fleet uh, died there, pretty much. Construction complete. Uh, second stellar fleet, nice. Combine those. Special project complete. Shrine to the Undaughtless. After uh, days of activities that can be termed fiddling, science officer has retrieved uh, the doctrine of the Undaughtless, a textile scroll coated uh, with sturdy plastic polymer. Anomaly found. Uh, we briefly did some unusual energy readings emanating from the planet. Might be a glitch, could be a sign of something. Research that for me, sir. Uh, so is there anything in the figure for us? Let's see, situation log. Here. Send you in Moscow. I'll keep this up here uh, to remind me that there's time sensitive. Updated. Approaching the benefactress. The LSIC has entered the Moscow system and its crew report that the stellar objects. So there's more, uh, more shrines in there. Another shrine for our cat gods. We'll just uh, research that then as well. And we're getting solar as soon. Our uh, scientist uh, gained a level. That's nice. System survey complete. And Haribas has been fully surveyed. There's arid world uh, that is fairly hospita hospitable. Uh, an 18 size. I might colonize that to support my Ampaldir. Huh. That sounds interesting. Let's go survey that next. Magnetic reversal. The magnetic field of Yinin 1 experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by. Kalpoinen. This rare event has interchanged the positions of the planet's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensors of our ship, provided, uh, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. Nice, free physics. That's uh, really helpful. So the construction ship is back here. I'm gonna save it for the Colony ship next. Yeah, I, I feel like colonizing another planet. Another uh, leader bonus. Also, uh, let's do here. I'm gonna get the admiral for our ships. Sensor range, sensor range, or uh, 
recruit. Uh, let's get this uh, this guy here, and we'll assign him uh, to the fleet here. You would imagine uh, he gives some bonus: ship upkeep and fire rate. Yeah. So we should probably have a, a leader for our fleet as well. Special project complete. Old God, shrine to the benefactress. Deciphering the pictograms of the benefactor's shrine was a, such a smoother process uh, well, than anticipated. All linguists uh, involved described the language quickly connecting and or clicking in their minds, despite its age and complexity. However, the writings are unlikely to make much sense until they are combined with the other writs associated with the rest of the Quadrum Virate Godhead. Old Gods, Revelation, the complete doctrines of the gods, for that is what the recovered texts have been recorded as, dwarfing the fairy tale scraps upon which uh, the old Amarati religions were founded, is as shockingly revelatory as it is revolutionary. With only a little bit of a creative interpretation, interpretation, it is clear that the people of Adnor were meant for great things, guided by the strong hand of a religious leader. Yes. Our pathhood is one to godhood, but our past is littered with prophecies unfilled, fulfilled and sin born of ignorance that redemption is ephemeral. So we can suppress the findings, knowledge is power, secret knowledge is secret power, gives influence, monetize the findings. Some of the wealthier fate corporations have caught wind of the affairs and are very interested. Energy credits gained, 600. Or, but what can we learn from this? Recorded, uh, regardless of the veracity or validity of the sacred text, the fact remains that we share a religious concept with some older, unknown spacefaring race. Society research. Oh, I'm gonna go for that. Yes. I didn't see a, a bump on that though. Hmm. It should have gone up by 350 already. Interesting. Or did I choose the wrong one? Oh well. I'll have to review that. And, uh,. I will, I don't know. Yeah, let's wait for the research, build those uh, better ships. How long is uh, these still gonna be around? They actually stay f for fairly long duration. How long is it until the destroyer? 17 months. How many days is that? 30 times that? 300 and, well, it's like 600 days. Yeah, that's fine. Meanwhile, we'll probably build uh, some some things. All right, uh, more survey, I guess. Binami has been surveyed. We'll go there or here. We can survey that. Uh, no, there's angry people there though. Yeah, you go survey there. Research complete. And there's my solar networks. I'm pretty st strange how this one didn't get more society research. Basic combat roles. Designate specific combat roles for our shipboard computers. Aggressive combat. Ki Ooh. So we can get damage bonus from this. Survey speed, gravi gravity sensors. Huh. <clears throat> Plasma thrower. Hmm. So many options. I think I'm gonna go with the specialist computers though. 
for a fire rate and damage. Yeah, let's go with that. It's also a bit cheaper option. So system survey complete. You're done surveying. There is nice things in there. So we send a one in there. So next one is here. We need to blow up these uh, ships here so we can freely travel in this area. But I think I'm gonna first uh, colonize a new planet for ourselves. Let's do, take a look at the, how this planet is doing here. So we are still uh, at four population, so one more population and we can build some new things for these guys. So that should be kept in mind. They actually are getting a new population here. You know what, I should really build more things for them. Just give them a hydroponics or a something. These guys are a bit unhappy. These are very cheap to make though. You can have that. Can I queue up uh, things to be built? That's the planetary admin we need to make. And that's quite expensive to make. Hydroponics in there as well. So it does queue up them. That's very nice. How is uh, Adnor doing? Adnor is getting pretty full. Let's clear these as well. So no, no colony ship yet. We'll, we'll work on getting that. The construction ships should uh, really get that for us. When we can. In the next uh, month. We can do that. bad it's uh, two stations required oh and the other one is no it's not a planet it's a, it's a moon oh it's actually a colony habitably 100 percent it's the small Gaia world ah uh, no no thank for it thank you for that I should actually aim for the five planets as soon as possible and we can then Throw the extra ones away. Dire director of the Museum of Exobiology on Adnor has issued a request for the procurement of several alien live, live alien specimens. These creatures were spotted on surveyed uh, habitable worlds, but they are uh, difficult to capture. It will require the full resources of a science ship for a lengthy period of time. Sure, we will gather these specimens. Situation log updated. Oh, that's a lot of planets. The elusive uh, tar block, mighty Tassar gold, royal Orinthi, the insidious Sniran, malleable Gulanta, the wily Utloran, and the ravenous Zulgor. That. And keep uh, exploring the galaxy. I think I'm going to dedicate one of the science ships and start picking up these. Construction complete. Ah, one of them is a. Uh, the mighty Tassar gold is in one of their regions. That's not good for me. How do I get that if uh, they are in their region? It is actually a very good question. 
Guess I have to ask for uh, open borders or something in there. Whenever these are done. Okay. You go here. Stop completing that quest for me. I really like these uh, events in this game. They're really cool. Even after you've uh, surveyed and done complete. done things with those uh, planets, there are still things to do in there. For these systems. Chimeric huh. conversion minerals are there. Probably alien origin. Sure. Research. A lot of stuff on these uh, mineral belts. Uh, construction ship is done. There's the other one for you to work on here. Just more mining station. That This will allow us to build a lot of fleet quickly. So we should just make those everywhere. Keep our money balance together. So you are in the helm. Go research this project for us. Let's see what it does. Like, do I need to get all of them? Do I get a small bonus from getting at least one of the animals? And things like that. <clears throat> uh, but I think this is a good point to stop the episode. Amarty Perdam is growing in the middle of these scary aliens. They do have three planets now, I think. No, still two. I think that there's a, a post here. Outpost. So, Jibia, Vijmara. These guys haven't uh, still spread to my knowledge which is of course good for us and these haven't done anything either other than probably colonize that or outpost in there and these guys have three planets in their frontier there so that's great there's something over there as well yeah that's the episode for this time thank you for watching and if you liked uh, this uh, let's play of Stellaris check out the other Let's Play reviews content on the YouTube channel and check out the live stream on nar.tv or twitch.tv slash balandar where I live stream every, ga every day games like this and many other strategy builder management games. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.